Your gift can be anything. You can't look at it as simply running, jumping, singing, and dancing. But I'll tell you one thing. Your gift is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. For me, it was comedy. So once you identify it, then that's, that's the beginning of it. But there's a lot of work to do even after you identify your gift. You know, you can believe you're something all you want, but if you don't work towards it, you, you're just sitting there, it's going to be empty. Failure means you've now learned another valuable lesson that pushes you one step closer to success. And means go in another direction. And it, 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 it means you have to go in another direction. Failure's not the end all. No. People keep getting buried on the field. I bet you that you have failed more times than anyone else. Absolutely. I promise you you have. I'm willing to bet that I have failed more times than anyone else. Because I have attempted so many things that you have no idea what I've attempted and failed. But I don't let the failures define. It's God pointing you in another direction. It's, it's, and, and, and it's clear about that. And you've got to be willing to go with that bend because that bend in the road is the only way. Success is not a straight line. It is not. It's, it's crooked. It's down in the valley. It's back up over a mountain. See, I'm a seed. I really am. I, see, but a seed has to be planted. A seed got to have dirt put on top of it. If you take a seed and throw it on the concrete and walk off, the sun just burn it up. But guess what? Logically, in my mind, it doesn't make sense that to grow something, you should dig a hole, put it down in there, and cover it with dirt. Logically, that don't make no sense to me. But oh, though. See, dirt is necessary for growth and development. Dirt builds character. Dirt, dirt gives you the push through factor. Dirt makes you come with it when you don't feel like coming with it no more. And you get dirt in a lot of different ways. All of y'all that had dirt thrown on you. And dirt ain't always what you want. It's somebody talking about you down on your job. It's somebody accusing you of something that you didn't do. It's somebody telling you you ain't going to make it. It's somebody sharing information about you that ain't true. That everybody get dirt put on them. But see, when you're getting put under that stress, please know God is always working. Kirk Franklin's song, God is always working, so I smile. Because I know he back there. See, that dirt builds character in you. When they're talking about you, it teaches you to withstand it. Then it gives you something to push through. So when you put the seed and you put the dirt on it, if you understand stress, stress really ain't just dirt. Stress, see, they don't call it dirt when they plant it. They call it soil. Because, see, soil has nutrients in it. What the nutrients, when people are talking about you, dogging you, lying on you, backbiting, stealing from you, talking about you, they're actually putting nutrients in you. They're building character. You got character now. Because now, and now, the seed. If they put a camera under the ground, you'd have seen the seed sprout open and start coming through the dirt. Because the dirt is necessary so you can prove yourself. You know, if you don't really want to be, everything you see above ground that blossoms and plants and grows and that's beautiful, it was underground one time. All them potatoes, collard greens, they was underground one time. Them apple trees, they was underground one time. So they had to prove they self. See, you want to be successful, well then you got to prove yourself. You got to push through the dirt. You got to come up through here. You got to come out. Then you sprout and then Bishop say, then you become a tree. Next thing you know, you got fruit. So when people try to find, figure out how to make a million dollars, they have no idea how daunting that is. Because if you know how to make a million dollars, you go make it tomorrow. But since you can't figure out how to a million dollar idea, you go somewhere and sit down. That's the wrong approach. If you apply your gift, your God-given gift that he gave you, you have millions already at your disposal. If you break it down inch by inch in these things a cinch, or the 10 by 10 theory, which is very simple. You don't need a million dollar idea, you need a 10 dollar idea. You need something that you do, your gift that God gave you to make $10. That's all you gotta be able to know. I don't care if it's cutting hair, cutting somebody's grass, washing somebody's car. I don't care if it's mowing somebody's lawn. I don't care if it's driving people to their destinations. I don't care if it's babysitting. I don't care if it's baking cookies or pie. 
you have some braiding somebody have. You have something that you can do so well that someone will give you $10 for it. Write my paper for me. Do this for me. Somebody give you $10 for it. Once they give you $10, all you got to do is whatever you did to get that 10, do it 10 more times. You now, my friend, have $100. You have $100 simply because you took a $10 idea and you did it 10 times. Well, guess what? If you take that $100 that you made since you've done it 10 times, and you do it 10 more times, I got news for you, my friend. You now have $1,000. $1,000, you make $1,000, guess what all you got to do? You got to multiply that effort again. Do whatever you did to do $1,000, do it 10 more times. My friend, you now have $10,000. You got $10,000 now. Imagine if you was making an extra $10,000 a month. Just imagine if you was making an extra $10,000 a month. That's $120,000 a year. But I got news for you, my friend. Whatever you did, whatever you did, whatever it took to make yourself $10,000, all you got to do is do it 10 more times. 10 more times, my friend. You now have $100,000. I got news for you now. If you can make $100,000, you're just a step away from being a millionaire, man. Because now you hire a few more people to help you out that, that you can do portions of what you do so you can duplicate that effort. And one more time, just one more time, and do it 10 times. Man, that sounds hard. It is hard. But what else you got to do? What, you gonna stop at the 100,000? All you gotta do is duplicate your efforts by 10. You duplicate your efforts by 10, 10 times 100,000. Welcome to the club, my friends. You are now a millionaire. Congratulations. You became a millionaire with a $10 idea. So stop trying to, stop bogging yourself down trying to figure out how to make a million. Do what you can do to make $10 and then do the 10 by 10 theory, inch by inch, anything's a cinch. One of my weak points in my personal life is I don't like technical stuff. So even though I have to be on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, I don't care for that. So guess what? I find somebody who loves to do that. You know, I find somebody who has a strength where I will have a weakness and I partner with them. All you're trying to do is get to the goal. No one gets there by themselves. Everybody needs help. Now, when you know what you got going for you, be confident, not cocky. Managing your strengths, knowing what they are, and don't let nobody talk you out of it. And that gets you fight ready. You get fight ready like that. You got to know you. Helps you develop your skills. All the while, you're developing your strength. It's, it's not, it, you just gotta keep developing the strength. Don't let anybody talk you up. At the same time, you must work on improving your weaknesses. So I've had to, in spite of myself, get on Instagram, get on Twitter, get on Facebook. I gotta do the videos, whether I want to or not, because the world is moving to social media. If I had as many followers as Kim Kardashian, I probably wouldn't even have to do this TV show.